So welcome everybody to our, our transformation, 12 week health and body transformation, Zoom at noon. And today is fun. I think every time is fun. I love these because we get to be able to share together things that can help us on our journey, on our transformation journey. And we've got all a bunch of different people that can kind of help on this. We've got Brent um, Unjum, the Victory Over Self Success Coach, who's helped transform hundreds and hundreds of people. And Tamara's on here, who has been one of your um, transformees that's on the team. We've got a lot of our coaches and B3 coaches on board here on the call. So, and I've asked a couple of our clients here to share um, or transformations to share some of their success. So I'm going to actually, if it's okay, because I know Holly is right in the middle of doing hair, I'm going to invite Holly to come on first and just share her success as she's been having lately and also maybe some of her favorite lean and green menu ideas that she's uh, found. Like she's been on her journey, her transformation for a little while, so she's getting to be a pro. Holly, do you mind coming off mute? mute? and sharing a little she's nervous you guys so give her a heart you have had it's been such a pleasure working with you on your transformation journey and i don't know if you're okay coming on camera is that okay sure okay let's see i know you're probably on your ipad at work okay there we go there we go get the Am hair I on it's awesome <laughs> yep, I'm in the back room. So, well, I've kind of been on a transformation journey for about two years now. Um, I'm down um, a little over, well, about a little over 200 pounds now from my starting. Um, the one thing I can say is definitely lean into your coach. Your coach will help you through so many things. So that's very important. But um, so as far as your meals and stuff and eating healthy, keeping it simple, you know, with the lives we have, we're always really busy. And so sometimes keeping it simple um, helps. Uh, one of my favorite things is um, the zucchini noodles. You can use them all sorts of different ways. Um, I've done lemon, garlic, Parmesan with just a little pinch of the Parmesan cheese. So it keeps it a little lower fat um, and you can do some baked chicken with it, some shrimp, all different things. You can add some crushed red peppers. That's kind of some of my favorite things that I like to, to do. Um, but you know, we all have the ups and downs and <laughs> I've had, a, you know, a harder time um, recently about a month ago and I've kind of had to do that reset um, where I kind of get that, I guess the sugars, the glycogen out of my system and get back on track again. And, you know, leaning into your coach is really, <laughs> really important with this transformation. There's a lot of people with a lot of knowledge out there and a lot of encouragement. That, that's kind of have you seen as you went into that reset have you seen things shift a little for you what kind of things have shifted um I tend to get a lot of inflammation in my body a lot and so I had really noticed everything just kind of felt off <laughs> I hurt a lot more and so with going back on plan and and being more true to the plan I've noticed oh <laughs> my skin's looser it's not as tight as you know I just don't feel that inflammation in my body my hands don't hurt as much my feet my legs um I have a lot more energy uh, just all around feel better sleep better <laughs> everything is just better going back into that so and you have to kind of keep a mindset of not I can't have this I can't have that um, I kind of, I saw this saying that says, choose your heart, you know, what's harder being overweight or not feeling well. For me, I was, I chose freedom over having 
those sweets or a lot of carbs and stuff. So it, that's <laughs> kind of what I've, what I've done, but I, I feel a lot better being back on track again. Nice. So I love that you're seeing, um, well, I mean, you've seen a weight shift, but you've also seen some really good health shifts. You've seen like your inflammation dropping, you're not as, you know, the swelling's gone down. So I love that it's like a lot of little non-scale victories that you're seeing too, along oh, with the scale lot. victories. But yeah, yeah, definitely my clothes fit better, they're looser. And that happened quite, quite quickly because the inflammation started going down really quickly as I got back on track with things. Nice. Awesome. Thanks so much, Holly. Thanks for taking a break in your busy day to share that with us. <laughs> oh, appreciate thank you. you. Thanks. Thanks for having uh, me. Right. Thank you. I learned something new, Holly, that uh, noodles. Uh, that's oh. a real good idea, the zucchini noodles. Oh, they're great. You can use them all different ways. A lot of different, you know, really good seasonings with the crushed red peppers, lemon, garlic. Well, all that's it. A new little pearl I le le learned. Thank you. Yep. Nice. So um, I've we've asked a couple more. And Tamara, do you want to introduce your uh, your client there that's sharing with us, Diane? Diana today. Um, can you come off mute, Tamara? Yeah, Diana. It, she was going to be able to be on, but now she's not going to be able to be on. Oh, she's on. She's on. Oh, she is. Okay, I'll introduce her. Diana King is an amazing friend. We played sports together in high school. And we went on a walk together. And she was just lamenting a bit about being a little bit overweight. And so I jumped in with some solutions. And she's the best student she she would be the best team player of any team because she's so coachable she's a great team player so all we did was introduce her to myself and to Brent and to Janine and the bands and she has lost so many inches and let go so much weight I'll let her share but her name is Diana King thank you welcome Diana thanks for coming on today Oh, you bet. <laughs> Go ahead and share some of your, um, what, you know, your favorite recipes and your successes that you're seeing. I sent uh, Tamara one of the, um, one of the things that I really like. Um, when I got the nutrition guide at first and it said uh, pickles and celery are, are some of the free foods, I thought, oh, great, because I have the best pickle recipe you guys have to have. <laughs> so I sent that to her this morning. Um, it's just a refrigerator pickle that you make so you don't um, process it at all, but uh, you just uh, make the brine and then you put it, um, slice up, you can either do um, little rounds or spears or I like to do sandwich slices as well. Um, and just, it's got garlic in it. If you like garlic, um, it's really good. If you don't like garlic as much, put a little bit less garlic in it. It's got red pepper flakes in it too. My sweet little three-year-old granddaughter just loves these pickles. <laughs> she likes things spicy. And so she just, um, they come over and that's what they have for a snack. They have pickles. And one day she told me, she said, can I have some peanut butter to dip it in? <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, garlicky dill pickles dipped in peanut butter. Who would have thought? But she loves those. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's one thing she does. Um, a couple of uh, things that I have found that have been helpful is um, I have a kitchen scale. And I think that's um, probably key to success is to be able to weigh things. Um, a, lot of, a lot of times, I mean, you, when you look at a list and it says, oh, you can have half an apple or half, you know, whatever. Um, I like to actually weigh it out in grams because then you get a, a, a true um, amount of calories that you're consuming or amount of carbs that you're getting from that instead of just, um, oh, because they vary so much. <laughs> so a kitchen scale has been really helpful for me. Another thing that I do is, um, I'll, I'll just um, make a big 
toss up a big thing of greens. Um, I usually take um, a large head of romaine lettuce and then I um, uh, just chop, chop that all up. And then I take, um, depending on the size of the uh, green cabbage, I'll um, shred up some green cabbage, some red cabbage and some, some carrots. I have a little julienne slicer and I put all that together. And I think uh, one thing that helps me be successful anyway is to have something ready that I can grab quickly that I don't have to, oh, it's going to take me half an hour to make lunch or whatever. If I have that um, bag of greens already mixed up, um, then I can just uh, grab a bowl, put that on there, add, add whatever protein I want to add. And then I actually, after I get my protein on there, well, I put the greens in, then I put it on my scale so I can weigh my three ounces of protein. And then I um, reset the scale and then I just drizzle a little bit of, um, I do the Olive Garden light uh, Italian dressing on it. And I honestly, with just a half serving on that one, it works great for me. So I just do 16 grams and just, um, just put that on there. Um, I like to use uh, feta cheese on there and it makes a, a wonderful, um, quick, easy lunch that I can just grab um, just within a matter of minutes. So those are some of the things that I've done. I really like the um, guidelines we were given from the nutrition guide, the, um, the two, the three, the one. And that's, I really don't usually use a lot of recipes, but I do, um, I just kind of use that as my guide and, uh, and that's what I do for my meals. I'll do for like breakfast. Um, I, I've really enjoyed having um, vegetables for breakfast and I'll either uh, do spinach, um, do a little bit of um, sweet onion and red bell pepper and um, some mushrooms and some spinach and just um, saute a little bit of that and have a couple of boiled eggs. I do the boiled eggs in the instant pot, uh, just do a dozen at a time. And then I've got them in the fridge already. I can just grab them out um, and have a quick um, breakfast or add them to a salad for lunch or whatever I need to do. So but that's just a couple of uh, my tips. <laughs> Wonderful. And tell us a little bit about your successes that you've been having with that, Then You just, oh, yeah. So um, we Tamara, did another Tamara mentioned, on you and you can see. Yeah. yeah. Tamara mentioned we, um, back in November is when we had gone on this walk. And, and I told her um, basically I had 40 pounds to lose. And she says, oh, this, you can do this. You can do this. And I said, okay. <laughs> you know, and we had, we set up a goal um, for uh, by my birthday, which is in um, the middle of June, that I was going to have this uh, weight uh, um, released by then. <laughs> and so I started working and I made it from the first part of November through Thanksgiving and Christmas and, uh, you know, past the beginning of the year. And I, I was able to maintain about uh, 10 pounds released at that point. And I was just kind of um, stuck at a point. Uh, it's like I, I, I'd go down maybe a little bit and then I'd, it seems like it would go back up. So then I got on the bands and doing your nutrition guide and what Brent um, and, and between the exercises and the nutri nutrition and it, um, it has, well, from my first body scan to my second one, I had lost 11 inches and um, seven pounds of um, uh, fat from those scans. So I'm excited. <laughs> it's good. It's fun to see, um, see those kinds of results. And that gives me enough motivation uh, to just keep on going. So I'm well on my way to have that uh, that 40 pounds gone by the middle of June. As a matter of fact, I only have about 15 pounds left. So that's good. good. That's awesome. That's yeah. That's wonderful, Diana. Thanks so much for sharing your recipes. And I just want you guys all to know that we'll be sharing these recipes and stuff to you on the 12 week transformation Facebook site. So we've already got your pickle recipe on there that Tamara hey. shared on there. You guys want to make some pickles? 
Um, but thank you for sharing that and your successes. Yeah. It's so exciting and, to see the change. And I can see it already in you too. You know, it's <laughs> kind of fun to see some of the, hey, your face oh, is yeah. starting to lean out. You came in yeah. for a scan. I, could... yep. I, I just wish I could choose where I could lose it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is it you got any you would tips be rich that, Brent? If because that, man, yeah. if I could, if I could you, spot spot lose it in a few spots, I'd be a lot happier. <laughs> yeah, I think you Ron can. is doing a fabulous job of choosing because I saw you the other day and it is noticeable. You look amazing in all the right places. <laughs> I, I, I can see it in your face, Diana. You've done great. And there mm -hmm. you can spot reduce. So when I get on later to talk about uh, sun and, and skin, I'll tell you about that too. Okay, awesome. Thank you. All right, thank you so much, Louia. Um, I asked Tammy to get on and just share. She's had some um, great results. I think she shared a little bit last week, but she's also been like the lean and green queen and started on her reset. So um, Tammy, share some of your favorites and some of the things that you saw when you started doing the um, the transformation even during rehab and recovery. And I loved your Facebook post, Tammy. She will come off. Maybe she, I know she's driving. So maybe she is, I thought I saw her on here. Are you there, Tammy? Are you talking about me? Yes. Are you ready to share your favorite lean and greens? Because I thought you were talking about the other cameras right there. No, uh, you, Tammy. That was you, Tammy. Your before and after post was great. Thank you. Yeah. So if you haven't seen Tammy's before and after, you can go to Tammy Mendenhall's Facebook page and see that. It's amazing. Well, I'm not kind of like Holly. You know, just keep it simple. I'm a simple gal. I don't cook a lot. So the more simple it is, the best. Uh, my favorite go-to is just those little chicken packets that you can buy at Walmart. They're just little tiny uh, cut up chickens already pre-cooked. Grab you some spinach and uh, your little mini belt, those little mini sweet peppers and put those on there and uh, throw on your salad dressing. That's my go-to right there. Smart. It's been working. Nice. Yep. So go check out Tammy's site if you haven't had a chance. Um, and before I turn it over to Bray here, I just wanted to share a few of uh, my favorite things that as you've kind of gone through, some of you are, are on the um, transformation, the, you know, the base. So you're about 50 grams of carbs per day. If you're on the um, transformation you know, the, um, the cut now, so you're down to about 20 grams per day, things change just a little bit. So you're eating a lot more salads. When I was on the 50 grams a day, I used a lot of an app called Mealime and it's a free one. So I'm trying to see if, let's see if I can get my camera up. But uh, so it kind of looks like that with a little lime, um, go back to the, see the little lime on there. There's a little lime. When you click on that, you can make a menu plan. And I just put lean and green. I put uh, uh, more of a lean and green. And it's, let me go ahead and see if Tammy can you. Tammy, can you mute your phone? Let's see if it's better to mute. There we go. Um, so on there, sorry about that. On there, you can actually choose kind of either Alasia Paleo and stuff. So it'll get you more of just the vegetable and the protein. And that has been like so fun for me. They're just 30 minute recipes. Let's see, this last time I, as I prior to um, my shift there, the I was doing grilled pork sausages and zucchini and bell peppers was one, the mozzarella and bruschetta chicken. So they're just a lot of different flavors. Grilled steak with tomato and avocados. Um, even a BLT salad with grilled chicken and avocados. So it's just kind of, some of those were good. I'm going to post some of those recipes on there for those that um, maybe are on that first part of the face. So that was one of my favorites. I'll post some of my favorite on the Facebook site. 
and just wanted to encourage all of you guys to go onto the Facebook site so that you can share your recipes. I'd like this to be a little more like interactive. You share your recipes, you share some of your successes. And instead of me just like telling everybody what to do and sharing mine. So if you guys can go on and share yours, that would be awesome. If you're not on that Facebook group, just let your coach know and we can make sure you're added in. So I wanna leave some time here for Brent to share a little bit about um, some of the things that he has found successful in his nutrition, but also adding in a little bit of sunshine. So Brent, share us a little bit of tips. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> yeah, I like it, especially in phase two where you're resetting the insulin receptors. I like to keep it really simple and have, uh, as Tammy said, have a bag of salad already made up. So everything's already made up so you can just grab it from the fridge and go. Uh, so you don't have to think about preparing something. That's the, one of the biggest tricks uh, to keep you from um, cheating is have, make most of your food on the weekends, your protein, your carbs, your fruit, fruits and vegetables, and put it in Tupperware containers in the fridge. And then you can just pull it out the first of the day, throw it in your insulated lunchbox and take it with you wherever you go. Or if you're at home, you can just pull something out of the fridge ready to go. You don't have to think about preparation because sometimes you're, you're, get, you're getting hungry and you don't have time to prepare. You've got to go somewhere. And so you, you need to be able to just grab something and go. Uh, spot reducing. You can spot reduce. They tell you you can't, that's a lie. Your body is uh, really smart. Uh, also, the, some, um, well, the Holly was talking about me measuring her food. See, God is a scientist. If you want to have precision health and precision body, you've got to eat precision. So that's really nice to do that. You get to where after you've seen something enough, you know exactly how it looks, what size, and you you get to figure out pretty close what everything's worth. But weighing everything initially is important so that you know. Spot reduce. Your body's real conservative. It's real smart. It does not like pulling stored energy out, in and out all the time. So it goes to, when you put extra energy in that you don't need, it'll find a place to store it for future use. And it usually will find the least active place in your body to store it. So it don't have to pull it out all the time, only when it needs it. So if you make those parts the most active place, then your body's gonna, when you have extra, it's gonna uh, find somewhere else to store it. But when you're cutting down, especially first thing in the morning before you, you know, you do your, your weights and your cardio. Um, there's no glycogen in your body to burn in the bloodstream. So it will go after the fat stores. If you stay in the fat burning zone, if you're doing hit training with your cardio or something like that, it's going to pull up from your uh, glycogen stores. But, when we're just going for a burn and a good, you know, cardio 15, 20 minutes, um, you can still carry on a conversation. It'll be pulling from your fat stores instead of your glycogen stores. So if first thing in the morning, let's say you wanted to lose weight on your, uh, from your side. Yeah, I, that's one area that I wanted gone first. So I would do a side bends in the morning before I'd go do my cardio. And then I'd massage that area and I'd slap it and I'd get it all. Uh, <laughs> some of the gals I just taught this to last year, they called slapping the fat. <laughs> get up, slap your fat. Anyway, you get, you get that circulation in there. So it's all itchy. Then when you're going out and doing your cardio and your body says, oh, I need some energy. Let's go get some fat. Oh, there's already blood flow in there. There's already circulation. That's a quick pull, let's go get some. So you just make it easier for your body to go after that area. You can see that in daily life and people uh, where they work, if they're on an assembly line or if they're sitting at their desk all the time, if they're using their legs lots at work or they're using their arms lots at work, or they're using every single day. So, 
um, you want to make everything active. Like when you was young, before the this day and age, before the, you know, the games and all that stuff, kids would store everything pretty evenly uh, because they were all out, out and active and everything's moving. And so like when I'd help gals that wanted to take all the fat off and we'd let them go down to 7% one time and then we want to go back up above 10 and, and stay above 10 because it's better on your hormone levels and everything. But once they got down to seven and it's gone from everywhere, from your size, inner thighs, behind, butt cheek, behind there, your, your butt, everything's gone. Then you make the whole body active every day, all day long. So when you're adding more calories and you're going to store some fat, it stores it evenly throughout your body. And so there's no big pockets. So, uh, sun any skin that you want tight needs to see the sun the sun is the biggest healer on our planet and now we're coming into the sun season so you know and it's above 55 and sunny you know it's time to get out in the sun uh the tanning beds the uvb light the cheap ones are the best uh especially in the in the winter to keep up your vitamin d levels and uh, your immune system up and also keeps that skin getting tighter. Uh, the thing I like about them is you can time them so you don't burn. Burning not, is not good. The full spe light spectrum from the sun is a lot better than just the UVB from the tanning beds, but it gives you the vitamin D and also will help tighten your skin. So, um, when people with fair skin, I tell them on the tamining beds, start with a minute and a half on each side, roll on all four sides during your six minutes, and then go up, you know, uh, a minute a week or, or every, and you start tanning a couple times a week. If you've tanned well, you know, you could do two minutes on each side, start with eight minutes. Um, but ultimately, the sun outside. Uh, also, the good thing about tanning beds is you can tan every every place. So all skin anywhere can see the sun, and only if you got a real private backyard can you do that. You know, with the sun. <laughs> so uh, I up at Bear Lake, I I got I lay out almost every day. Um, but during the summer, during the winter, I use the tanning beds at the sports academy. So here's the protocol for uh, getting your skin tight. I'll read it to you. I wrote it up to give some gals last year. So I go to my pictures or I stored it. And I'm almost there. Too many pictures. Okay, there we go. Okay. Supplements for, to get for your skin. Collagen, uh, type one and three. Uh, Piping Rock has it pretty cheap, uh, especially when they have their buy one, get one free or 50% off. Uh, 10 to 15 grams a day. I just mix it in a big heaping teaspoon with my uh, protein shake. Um, I add it. Uh, that was one of the things, the first thing I used from B3 two years ago when I got started was I, I just learned about collagen. So I used their collagen supplement, but now I use their protein. I just add other collagen to it. Uh, krill oil uh, or salmon oil capsules, one with each meal. Uh, krill oil uh, are a little more powerful. They're a little more expensive, but they also don't uh, burp up on you or come back on you like some salmon oil can, but if it's good quality salmon oil and you eat it with a meal, you, it won't come back on you. Protein, you gotta, you gotta have adequate protein for your skin. It's a big factor in your skin, but we're doing that with this program. Vitamin C, um, from Costco, I buy these big orange bottles of sodium ascorbate uh, chewable tablets. And I chew up about two of those 
four or five times a day and there are 500 milligrams between the two tablets. Uh, or if you can afford the, the best, the best is uh, Nature's Way Alive Natural C. It's just made from all natural sources like kiwi and himalaki berries and, and uh, Arceola cherry, but it's a lot more expensive. Uh, trace mineral drops, because you know, your, your last in your collagen is made up of protein, vitamin E and vitamin C. What we have to have on a daily basis is vitamin C. And that's the thing that it, without vitamin C, you get a mild form of scurvy, which is really what is causing heart disease and the plaque on the arteries. So trace mineral drops and they're cheap and they'll be got right from the Great Salt Lake. Uh, MSM, I can get it from the farm store, two pounds for 15 bucks. I take a heaping teaspoon two times a day. I just mix it in with my L-arginine and L-citrulline. Uh, that's really valuable for your skin and your joints. And it also helps get the sugar out of your blood. Uh, is in your body, sugar causes acid, acid causes pain. Copper, uh, copper, uh, a good chelated copper supplement that, uh, that is absorbed. And it's kind of, they call it um, a body facelift, <laughs> uh, the copper. Coconut oil, extra virgin coconut oil. Um, use that after you've tanned on your skin all over and just let that soak in. Um, the lion and the werewolf. Um, did I talk about that? Uh, that's how to exercise your face and make the muscles. Yeah, yeah, we kind of talked about that, I think a couple of weeks ago. Okay, good. Okay, well, you want to? Do you do that for your face, skin, in the, uh, yeah. And skin brush every morning, dry skin brush, whole body, uh, face, and be careful around the eyes. It's a little more delicate tissue, but dry skin brush that whole body. That stimulates, you know, the lymph system and also stimulates the cells to start um, shrinking after we're cutting, you know, getting rid of all the fat and then tanning you know a couple times a week you know as you get closer to a convention you can go three times a week uh, sugar causes also collagen to cross link and skin becomes stiff and inflexible and leads to wrinkling and stiffness and old skin so keep your blood sugar flat but we're all doing that so we're doing the some of the main things if you want you know tight beautiful skin um that's the protocol that'll help you perfect thank you so much brand thanks for sharing that because as you lose weight then you want that skin to kind of keep its elasticity and its sugar and stuff so that it's you know get too many wrinkles as a as a weight as the fat because fat can kind of like keep the wrinkles uh from you know, as right. it fills it all out, right. But we don't want the fat to be on there. So we want to tighten up our skin and do it in a good natural way. So thank you for that. And, the, and a lot of those um, supplements that's in your, your nutrition plan. So if you go back to the email with your nutrition plan, the supplements are, I think on the second to last page, possibly the last right. page. And also posted on the Facebook. Um, so we'll repost those. And um along with some of the recipes that we talked about today. So thank you guys so much. I think that this has just been fun being able to share some tips, some recipes as you go through your journey. Some of you may be in the insulin reset. Some of you may be on your, um, your, just your transformation program right there, that the base program. And that's so good to kind of go through, maybe hit a point where you want to do a little reset, hit the reset. Um, I've been going through that for this last week and um, I am amazed how much energy that I've been feeling and uh, how much like looser my pants are feeling as I feel my fat starting to drop. So that's been really fun too. So thank you guys for joining. I'm going to go ahead and stop our recording. One today. more question. One more thing, Jeannie. Uh-huh. Um, 
a lot of them will ask me, well, what about the, the skin cancers and this, the sun and the skin? Okay. Uh -huh. You've got, if you've got enough, question. your body's designed to take the sun and transform it into the vitamin D and that mutates and, and the, the kidneys creates vitamin D-123 that kills cancer cells. Well, the sun is, is like in plants, they create plant blood with the chlorophyll. We create that, uh, the vitamin D and it's really extremely valuable for us, but we also have to have the stuff in our skin to, to make that work. And that is where you have to have that, that krill oil, that salmon oil, and the omega-3s in your skin so the body can do its job. And then it, it doesn't damage it. it. It heals from it, it does its job. You take those Africans that are out there in, there, in Africa and out in the sun all day long, and they don't get skin cancer. You bring them over here and feed them our diets and they get skin cancer. And so in Dr. Perricone's book, The Wrinkle Cure, he says that everybody needs to be out in the sun two or three times uh, a week with as much skin shown as possible, then cover up. But everybody also needs to be eat three to five salmon oil capsules a day. So that's the, uh, the other thing with that. They always ask me about that. Perfect. That is very good. Thanks for bringing that. And it's also good for your heart. You know, the, the salmon oil and the krill oil is so good for the heart and health. So it's double purpose. Well, thank you guys. Thanks for everybody for joining us today. Um, we'll go ahead and